when sudden death is a possible side effect of your prescription and the doctor asks if it's working. Man, I'm not taking that medicine. <laughs> no, sir. What's wrong with you? Your child's pediatrician thinks it's more important to take a multivitamin every day than to eat fresh fruits and vegetables. Of course, because phytonutrients, flavonoids, and phenols just really aren't that important. Is there some kind of quota doctors have to meet for GERD diagnosis? Don't be surprised if you visit the doctor and leave with a prescription for a proton pump inhibitor and antibiotics. No test, no exam, just here you go, you have GERD. Then you find out two years later you actually had H. pylori and they just love proton pump inhibitors. You've got the flu, doctor says nothing really you can do except let it run its course. That makes sense because there's just nothing else you could possibly do about the flu. Your dad's been complaining about foot pain all year. Docs can't find a problem, so they start telling him it's all in his head. So he goes to get a second opinion and finds out his entire lower leg needs to be amputated now. Your son can't focus well at school, and his doctor thinks some prescription is totally worth the risk of him developing a heart condition or becoming a drug addict. What's wrong with you? You've gained a little weight, and your new doctor tells you the back problems you've had for over 20 years are due to your being overweight. No tests run, no exams done. You need another new doctor. Your doctor puts you on a 900 calorie diet. Sure, because that's the healthy way to lose weight. Your daughter just had a seizure, but the doctor assures you it's not because of the injection he just gave her. Mm -hmm. The only advice your son's pediatrician has about his month's worth of constipation is to keep giving him enemas and stool softeners. Well, yeah, because suggesting probiotics and prune juice would be too much like right. Your doctor prescribed an antipsychotic to help you sleep better at night. Great, because having suicidal thoughts is so much better than losing a few nights sleep and magnesium couldn't possibly help. What's wrong with you?